Hey everyone, this is Eric here, and in a few days the New York City Marathon is happening, and this will be my second marathon, and this is probably the closest I have to what I'm hoping to wear. And I'll be running with Beyond Type 1 and 29 other Type 1 diabetics, and a huge challenge is just how to carry all of our medication, all of our carbohydrates, everything for the insulin pump. So in this video I'm going to show you what's in my pockets, what's in my um, belts, and we'll just dive into those uh, challenges and how to hopefully overcome them. <laughs> <laughs> So a specific challenge of running a marathon while managing type 1 diabetes is the in distance and duration of the event. So I'm planning on doing this over four or five hours and then also just all of our medical supplies. So those two sections are kind of your fuel plan, your food plan to manage your blood sugar and then actually taking your insulin and all those things. And since that beep is kind of on, on time right now, uh, what's really amazing is just the technology that has changed for type 1 diabetics. So for this race, I'm wearing um, a Dexcom continuous glucose monitor, so that's sending it to my phone every five minutes. And what's interesting is like this is really new technology for our community. And so every five minutes, I'm looking at this graph and ignore my urgent low here. But this is what's feeding in, and that's what's driving my decisions as I'm out there. And specifically, I've been looping, which I'll leave a video to up here. And so that's taking information every five minutes, bringing it to my phone, and then use, sending that to my insulin pump. And really what this boils down to is that type 1 diabetics have to carry a ton of stuff. And specifically for the New York City Marathon, because of safety concerns, they don't allow backpacks. Now, at the New York City Triathlon and Austin Triathlon and a lot of my previous endurance races, I've used a Camelback to carry all of my stuff. And for this race, I'm using a combination of my Roan shorts and a belt to carry things. Now, Roan is a company started by a type 1 diabetic that I've mentioned in the past, but Nate Check It is running the race. And what's really cool is like, this is basically the Lululemon for men, but there's tons of pockets in these shorts. And so on one side, I actually took the clip off my insulin pump that's usually on my belt, so I can slide it into my shorts, and then over there, either put my Riley Link, some snacks, um, but between the two pockets, I can carry so much. And that is kind of like what the main thing I'm carrying is carbohydrates. I have to carry about 150 carbohydrates for this race, because every half an hour, hour, I'm burning roughly 30 carbs. Yep. Uh, like, why do we need 30 carbs every half an hour? It's because you're depleting glycogen storage. So, as you're utilizing the glycogen inside your muscle cells, so like PPP synthase, uh, creating that, um, you have to keep on replenishing it, or else like you'll have no fuel. And then, because also too, like we have limited insulin. Insulin is kind of like the main thing to bring that glucose into cells. So, like, it's really important. All right, I really hope my computer recorded that. Perfect. So we're, we're depleting. In the future, there's gonna be Professor Gamble moments. I'm getting there, I'm editing a lot more. Um, but thank you for that. Okay, I'm gonna go to you See you, Gams. And I'm kind of one to avoid goo and all this artificial packages and that's why generally I'm carrying apples but for this race I won't just because they're so bulky and so there's kind of three categories it breaks down of when I did the Copenhagen marathon right around mile three my blood sugar just tanked and that's where you need fast acting carbs that's where you have things like gummies or glucose or tabs like that but then also you have 
if your blood sugar is stable and you just want to keep it stable, that's where you have to match carbs with high fat. And that's something like where RX bars are really awesome. Uh, I used to crush those while going across America. Whew. Alrighty, question number one is, what snacks do you eat during hikes? For this one, I think we're gonna throw 30 seconds and I'm just gonna label a whole bunch of them. Yeah, Woo! All right, so we begin our XR bars, which are great because they're a bunch of protein and carbs together. Other bars are Nature Nature Bakery. The fig bars are like 20 carbs each, great to bring you up. Peanut butter um, and honey is a staple of mine. Uh, in that peanut butter, you can throw mixed nuts just to increase calorie consumption. What else? Dates to bring up Lowe's, um, Gorp, which is good old raisins and peanuts. And last one I'll say, fruit leather strips. Whew, that was actually harder than I thought. And then there's the whole other situation where nerves or excitement can drive your blood sugar high, but you still have to keep that calorie intake because this is a marathon. And that's where you might carry uh, some of the keto products, but also like something just like nuts, just so you have that calorie and high fat to match that. Um, which is kind of like why it's so fascinating to be with a team of 29 other type 1 diabetics because people are studying us and researching us to try to figure out what is driving all these changes and is low carb the solution, is high carb the solution. Um, and I know we all come at this from so many different angles and so many different approaches. And that's why it's exciting to see the Beyond Type 1 team grow, to see us have actually research partnerships. I know there's a team that's studying us to see um, kind of blood sugar outcomes. But then also if you're just an athlete and you're interested in how all this impacts us, I always think the fact that we're getting fed information like our continuous glucose monitors showing every five minutes what's happening. Now partnering that up with heart rate because of the Withings watch um, and some of that information along with sleep patterns. It's just really interesting to study athletes at a different level, especially type 1 diabetic athletes because I'm always saying that we're canaries in the gold mine for everyone else. Uh, so what we do as we hit the dock over here because <laughs> of the wind or, or the forest, um, but what happens to us really happens to everyone and I think that's why there's going to be more attention to our teams as continuous glucose monitors actually become more available to everyone and then fueling strategies what do we do that maybe other athletes can replicate so that's down below I'll leave a list of everything that's in my belts what's in each of my pockets we'll see what actually happens on race day which is November 3rd if you want to cheer on the team check out the hashtag beyond type run um, but beyond type one also We'll have lots of posts going on, lots of Instagram stories, so please, please, please give us a shout out. Um, I'll try to have a post about this outfit and what actually I use for race day. Um, but thank you to everyone that has cheered us on. Thank you to all the volunteers that work behind the scenes to make sure our team can grow, uh, that the race can happen successfully. And with that, just remember that you can go anywhere and do anything. Thanks for tuning in.